success in our country. It is a journey that we have to work together each day, every time, every minute, so that at the end of it all, we have a country that has been well created actually for, for, for ourselves and environments that are going to be for, our, for us and our families and our future and everything that we want to do. It is a Thursday that we have always been waiting to meet you and discuss these matters about our country. Remember, we have been talking about peace. It is peace that keeps us going. Without peace, no country. Without peace, the world is actually not there. Look at what is happening in Ukraine and Russia. Children, mothers, families are no longer together. That is because there is no peace. That is because there is nothing that is pushing, rather going on. Today, we want to look at it in a very special way again. And as our country, and, and, and as a country talking about Kenya, we are talking about where we were born, a country that God has given us. We don't have any other country. We have this country where we shall live here and we are going to live here forever. This morning, I'm glad to again have a guest who is going to help us dissect much about this we have been talking about. He is uh, an aspirant and uh, to me is a leader and being a leader, then he must be in a position to tell us what he has seen and what can be improved here and there. Uh, without wasting his time, let me just welcome him right away to tell us his name as we continue with this. Karibu san. Thank you so much for having me in the studio today. All right. I'm truly blessed. All right. Uh, viewers, my name is Martin Kenonia. I'm MP aspirant for Ajedo North. Yes. Uh, Ajedo North is a constituency which lies right, right outside of Nairobi. Okay. Actually, it's not very far from Nairobi. We're just next to Kilanaka constituency. Okay. Yeah, that's where we come from. Yeah. Going for that seat. All right. I'm sure I'll get it. All right. Yes. You, last time we were here, you were a bit, uh, I mean, uh, we, we, we did not have a very clear picture of how many candidates are going to be there. Now that uh, the nominations have taken place, I believe your nomination also took place. I want to guess. Yes. Ah, that means you went through. Uh, I actually did have any opponent in my, in my party. Yeah, yeah. Not Kenya. Oh, that means you joined. Not Kenya. Yes, I'm in Nak Kenya. I'm the Nak Kenya aspirant for Jetonov. Yes. And uh, I was the only one. Yes. Because there was no nomination. Okay. Yes. So this is the direct ticket yes. for you. Yes. Now, how many people are you going to face in the in the stage in the stage, in the rest? Do you think who is much stronger than than than, than what you think? There are quite a number of people, and uh, also I'm also waiting for the close of this exercise. Okay. The nomination exercise, which is supposed to end on the 22nd yeah. of this month. Of this month. Two days. Uh, one day shy. Okay. I think it's that's tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Tomorrow is actually it's yeah. So tomorrow is when we'll be able to be uh, authoritative in yes. who is going to be the opponent. Yes. And who we are facing. Uh -huh. Yes. But now you yeah. you have walked you have walked around in the constituency now, you know the weight of the place. Exactly. And uh, you told us the last time you are you are working closely with the incumbent? Uh not really. Uh. Uh, we are doing I'm actually doing campaigns uh, as myself uh, <laughs> as an individual. I want the voters to decide. I oh. don't want to have any okay. uh, affiliations with anyone. Mm -hmm. I want to send my manifesto as a person. All right. Okay. And uh, another some of Nak Kenya. Okay. Yes. Right. So this is the Nak Kenya candidate for Kajedo. No. Yes. Kajedo North uh, constituency is going to tell us all he's ready to do in this constituency. And before we do that. We want to look at uh, a number of power issues that uh, actually affects Wananchi. Mm. And today I want us to look, like, look at uh, your area, right? Kajedo uh, North. I don't know how many, how many, how many health, health facilities are there? Kajedo North, uh, we have, uh, uh, we have two, uh, we have one hospital. Yes. Normally, Hospital. Okay, okay. And uh, that is the main health facility. All right. And uh, a few others. Okay. Uh, majorly the area is um, 
we have a lot of private. Mm -hmm. So that, that, that was, I was mentioning about the public. Okay. Oh, yeah. But uh, in my office, the majority of the health facilities are actually private people. Right. So we have Nairobi Women Hospital. Mm -hmm. We have a few. Oh, Nairobi, Nairobi Women, Women Hospital falls in uh, Yeah, we have, we have, we have, we have uh, uh, a branch there. Okay. In uh, Agatha mm -hmm. And a few others. Do you think they are serving your people well? Uh, much as they are there, yes. the main problem of our constituents mm -hmm. and, uh, media, and I think the, whole, the issue applies to the whole country. Yes. yes. Uh, access to healthcare is a challenge because of the financial implications. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I would say that uh, we still need a lot of public health facilities okay. yes, yes. to mitigate the cost of, of, mm. of healthcare. Okay. We appreciate that any, uh, most of mention that because a uh, human being lazima to pitie such and uh, I think because you are uh, an aspiring you know a member of parliament yeah. we have to you need, we really need to talk much about that now in my list of uh, discussion today uh, we wanted to look at the constituency and the hygienic uh, you know aspect of the, the, the area uh, the government has uh, in the, a few months ago, we saw the Kazim Tani and uh, much has take, been taking place. And these young people, it is much as they are being given this job. I don't know whether they are doing the right. I mean, are they, are they, are they really going deep to, 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 to do what they expected to do uh, as, as expected by the community and the government? Uh, well, I would like to appreciate the government for giving them to the cousin time. Mm -hmm. I think in my area, in the constituency, we had quite a number of people working in that, the last place, okay. working in the cousin time. Mm -hmm. And you saw them do a lot of mm -hmm. uh, things, Mike. especially uh, in matters relating to environment, sanitation, and hygiene. Okay. We have issues. I don't know whether other constituencies have such issues like okay. our, our constituency. Mm -hmm. We have a, uh, we don't have a sewer system. Oh. 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 And this is an issue which uh, has been discussed for a long, long time, yes. and still up to now we still have, we don't have a proper, a, a, actually a, a sewer system. Mm -hmm. But we are hopeful that um, if leaders can get in, who can be able to solicit for funds from donors and from the government, this is something that should be handled okay. urgently and quite quickly. Okay. So, uh, Kazim Tani, yes, they did a good job, mm -hmm. and. Uh, in the last budget, they have been allocated some more funds, some more funds so okay. we expect them to get back to mm -hmm. the ground and start doing some work. Yes. Uh, but what I would say is that uh, Kazim Tani may not be able to give us the complete solution. Okay. This is not a sustainable solution. Mm -hmm. The solution we need for such areas like uh, Ngaka mm -hmm. uh, Kiserian, mm -hmm. uh, Ngong, mm -hmm. Kerakoni, Bulbul, all those areas, mm -hmm. is a permanent sewer system. We have seen the government coming up with um, the, the National Water Pipeline, mm -hmm. which has, has spread all the way to those areas which I have just mentioned. Yes. So my question is, once this water is released and uh, commissioned, and yet we don't have a sewer system, mm -hmm. don't people know that there is going to be a huge disaster? And Kazim Dani may not be able to solve this problem. Because most of the uh, commercial residences in this area are depending on, on septic tanks. Okay. And, Believe you not, mm -hmm. that uh, once we have a lot of water coming yeah. into these residences, yeah. we also need an equally big uh, system mm -hmm. to get the waste out of these houses. So I would say that, yes, Kazim Tani is, is a good initiative. Yeah. It is giving employment to our people. Yeah. And uh, as I mentioned to you earlier, that we are having a huge, huge problem with the unemployment of the youth. Yeah. Yes, Kazim Tani is giving us opportunities to the young people so that they can have some little money in their pockets. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to matters hygiene and sanitation, yes. I don't think it's, it's a lasting solution. Oh, yeah. We need a proper mm -hmm. uh, sewer system in this area. Mm -hmm. We need uh, 
proper drainage for the roads. 